The low hanging fruit is removing things from your life that to take away your focus and energy. Focus can be biochemical, right? It could be not eating enough, not getting enough sleep. It could be eating the wrong kinds of foods, right? Those are all biological reasons for not having focus. Emotional reasons for not being focused is you're worried about things outside of your work. And I'm not saying there aren't things outside of work that don't matter. It's just, please help me walk me through how worrying about them at work makes any of it better. How you're solving things that actually make it better. Worse, for most of the problems we worry about outside of work, not all of them, but a lot of them, it's like, okay, well, if you made $2,000 every week, how much do these problems matter? Hmm, no, actually they'd go away. Okay, well then I think we can know, we can solve for this, right? We know what we have to do. Not all of them, by the way. There are things that maybe making $2,000 a week isn't gonna solve for, but for the most part, most of it, there's a lot of low hanging fruit there. So then it's being disciplined enough to not let things outside of work, outside of your, your daily tasks, distract you. That takes discipline, not motivation. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is like, well, how do you stay motivated? I'm not really fucking worried about motivation. If the only reason somebody's doing something is because they're motivated to do it right now, that's just, are we always motivated to eat or not? Hilarious one, but for people who are in long-term relationships, most of us say, yeah, we enjoy sex. Are we always motivated to have sex? I'm gonna lay in bed and like, I'd like to have sex, but I really don't wanna roll over, right? These are things that we love. So to think that like, oh, motivation's gonna get us there. It's like, mm, no. Discipline will get you there because you do it because that's who the fuck you are. See the difference? So a lot of times people are like, I don't know, I'm just not motivated. Well then grow the fuck up, buttercup. Think about a mother, as I'm seeing right now, again, has to get up at four o'clock in the morning to feed their child because it's wailing. Are they motivated always? No. What if they were like, yeah, I'm not motivated. I'm not feeling it. I'm just not going to feed them. This is the silly shit that people do. The reasoning of it. Okay, so energy, same thing. Energy can be biological. Again, didn't get enough sleep because I'm immature and I stayed up watching fucking Netflix till three o'clock in the morning. Or just took one too many drinks last night, even though I knew it was a work night. So not getting enough sleep. Diet can impact energy. Being sick can impact energy, which, you know, Sometimes we're like, well, you can't control whether you get sick or not. You can more than you realize by simply taking care of yourself and eating right, but not always, right? Sometimes that's part of being human. We experience things like that, but we can do a lot to mitigate it. Energy can also be drained because we got in an argument with a fucking loved one on the way in. We knew we shouldn't have, or we drained our energy worrying about something we could not materially do anything about. So then we're distracted and our energy is depleted. So that's, that's the low hanging fruit, right? And so I'd start there. And then it's like, hey, I'm doing all those things and I still don't have focus and energy. Well, then we talk about the existential part of that. But that usually quenches most of it. So for me, when I started in the field, I was, I was married and had two kids. So I had a lot of easy things that could have taken my focus and energy. And I didn't act like they didn't matter. I just said, hey, here's all the things that I got to worry about when I get out of the field. I'm going to put them in the seat next to me. And I literally visualize taking the fucking monkeys off my back. And here, I'm like, I'll get back to you when I get out of the field. I'm going to go make 500 today. And that's going to solve a lot of problems. And then still pick up the fucking milk on your way home. Hi, Sebastian here. Today's video was sponsored by our Patreon community. You can check out more content, behind the scenes stuff, exclusive content there and join the community. I'll see you in there.